Hi, I'm Rosemary. I'm an adult services librarian here at Prescott Public Library. This is Crafts to Go, and we're going to be making a stenciled tea towel this month. So we have all of our supplies here and our instructions that come with the Crafts to Go kit. Um, it comes with the tea towel, the stencil, just some letters, and a different color of permanent marker. And then I would also suggest if um, you can grab a ruler, a pencil, a thick eraser, some rubber bands, and just a good piece of cardboard, and you're gonna lay your tea towel on that. I did my lines first so that I could make sure they're level with the bottom of the towel, and just, you know, just line up the bottom of your ruler with the bottom of the towel. Um, I like to make two marks one on each side, and then, um, you know, so measure, I, I did them every inch, so measure the inch here, come over on this side, make sure you level with the bottom of the towel, and then make your marks on this side too, and then that way you can make your straight lines between the two marks that you made. So that's my pro tip there. And then you're going to start using your stencil on those lines. And um, so in the kit, on the back side of the instructions, there are um, these different quotes from books and movies that I found that are about food. And so I'm gonna be making one of these today from one of my favorite shows, Gilmore Girls. And the quote is, if eating cake is wrong, I don't want to be right, from Lorelai Gilmore. So let's get started on that. Um, I'm gonna start on my top line here make sure that the bottom of the letter is even with the bottom of the line and we'll get started <clears throat> so here i would also suggest pressing down your stencil and that's going to keep the towel in place you don't want the fabric to move too much and just you know outline it and you'll see it you know, starting to come out. Um, you can space your letters out as you want them. So here's what it looks like when the outline of all the letters are finished. So now we're gonna go over this with our permanent marker and again our stencil and fill in the letters. I suggest that you start with the stencil and that way uh, you're gonna get nice sharp lines around the border. You can always go back and fill in the inside freehand without the stencil to get it the, the ink nice and deep in the fabric. And then again, <clears throat> make sure that the towel is uh, you know, still tightly on here and you can even kind of stretch it a little bit, not too much because you don't want you know, to get outside of your outline. But make sure that the wrinkles are gone and, uh, and then press down on the stencil so that you get a sharp line and that the ink doesn't bleed. And so your fingers are going to kind of get in the way of this. If you want to wear some gloves to not get the ink on your fingers, you can. This is the finished product after it's been washed and dried. Um, you can see there is a little bit of leak here from the, uh, from the ink. My mistake was that I left it after it finished the wash cycle, I let it sit in there too long before I threw it in the dryer. So it really, you know, got a little, it got a little bit messed up. It, it still looks okay. Um, the other thing I would keep in mind is uh, maybe do a couple layers of the ink on there um, and really give it a good iron before you throw it in the washing machine. There are some other tips online, uh, like using vinegar to set the ink. Um, so if you find any of those, you can try them out and see how it works for you. Um, I also used a small black Sharpie to write this, and that seemed to work fine. Uh, no, nothing, uh, you know, it didn't, didn't die anything else from there. Um, and then you can see all of my pencil lines are totally gone, which is pretty nice. So overall, I'm happy with my finished product. It looks it has like a little vintage look, and uh, I'm gonna display it in my kitchen.